Hey there, Memory Keeper. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about photo organizing software. My name is Allison Lee and I run an academy called The Memory Curator, which helps people organize their photo mess so that they can use your photos to enjoy them and to tell your family story. So I'm going to be talking a lot about software the next couple of weeks because I actually have a free photo organizing software explain workshop coming up. So you can check um, for the link for that down below. But what I want to do is talk to you about why I love software so much, because I know that a lot of people are a little bit nervous about using software to handle their precious photo memories because it's new technology, you're scared you're going to make a mistake, you don't feel tech savvy enough, and you think that you could just kind of do this the old way that we used to by sorting out all your prints and making piles and writing on the back of them and all of that. Now, we all know that we have gone from prints to digitals, so it's very important that we figure out some way to manage this digital collection. And I'm going to give you four reasons that I believe that photo, photo organizing software is the best way to make progress with your overwhelming photo stockpile, aka your mess, and to get it organized so you can go on to enjoying your memories and sharing them with your family and also preserving them for future generations, right? Okay, the first reason is that you cannot enjoy and you cannot share or make books or make videos with photos that you cannot see, right? We all think that somehow we're gonna make these amazing photo books with the small amount of photos that we can actually see that are on our phones. Most of our photos are buried either in the depths of our phones, they're stored in the cloud, they're on an old USB or a hard drive, and we actually cannot even see them. So the first thing is your photos have to be visible, right? So how do you make them visible? You need some sort of software, app or something on your computer, could be on your iPad, could be on your phone, but honestly, your computer is the best where you can actually see all your photos. I was having a conversation with someone just this morning and she was talking about how she wanted to make up books for her family with all the highlights of her photos, but she really didn't want to have to go through all her photos. Now, I can understand that. However, like, how are you going to find the photos and the highlights if you don't actually look at the photos? And her problem was that everything was buried on all these devices and she really didn't want to invest the time to you know, get them all out, get them all in one place, consolidate them, and then have to look for them. Now, I'll tell you that once you have everything, you bring everything out into the open, you get all your digital photos consolidated in one place, you get them organized, all of that, the making books becomes so much easier because you can actually see everything. You have to be able to see your photos in order to move forward with enjoying them and sharing them and making things for future generations to enjoy. So the first reason that you should consider using photo organizing software is that they help you make your photos visible. And I'm talking about all your photos visible. The second reason is, is it will automatically sort your photos for you. So if you use the proper photo organizing software that actually lets you have control about how you organize a master family photo collection, which means all your photos in one place and organize the way you would like them, um, you need something that will help you do that quickly and photo organizing software can help you automate that process, like actually do it for you. Now, that sounds a little bit too good to be true, but believe me, it happens and people can actually get their photos, thousands of them organized in a few weeks for something that takes years. And I've seen it happen to happen again and again in my classes. The third reason you should use photo organizing software is that it helps you remove the duplicates. So, you know, raise your hand if you have a lot of duplicate photos because most people do and you don't know how to get rid of them except by like pairing them file by file. Uh, photo organizing software, the proper one, the right one, make the right choice, will help you eliminate the duplicates in your collection like that. Super speedy, super fast. It does all the comparing for you. And all you have to do is just um, decide which one to keep, which I know sounds a bit hard, but it will actually tell you what to keep and then let you actually hit the delete button, okay? So you always have total control. And the fourth reason that you should use software is honestly that it just saves you time, okay? I mean, most people have had digital photos for a decade now. You've had photos on your phone in various places for at least 10 years. And this problem is only gonna get bigger. And so if you think about organizing at least 10 years worth of photos into some sort of system and collection, it makes your stomach hurt. You know, you're like the lady I was talking to this morning who just could not fathom getting everything organized, right? And so if you do it one by one, moving everything, cut and paste, you know, copy, drag and drop, 
it's literally going to take you years to get your photos sorted. But photo organizing software saves you time. And honestly, that is the number one reason to use it, is it will take a project that may take a year and condense it down to a few weeks. Now, some people take longer because you either work slower or life gets in the way, things interrupt you. But honestly, it will save you 90% of the time that you estimated it was going to take you to do this task. It will be done fast. And I promise you that anybody can learn software. So those are the four reasons. Let's just recap. The first reason is that photo organizing software will help you make your photos visible because we have to see our photos in order to move forward with enjoying them and sharing them and using them to tell our family story. The second reason is it will automate the photo sorting process for you. The third reason is that it helps you remove duplicates. And the fourth reason, which really kind of covers all of these first three reasons, is that it just would save you heaps of time. And given that we're all time poor, that is the number one reason to use photo organizing software. So if you're interested in learning more and really talking about the reasons that people don't use photo organizing software, and there are a few myths that I will address that people believe about photo organizing software and why they really can't use it, um, come to my Photo Organizing Explain workshop because I'm going to show you my favorite software programs. I'm going to show you how they work. I'm going to dispel any fears you have about whether or not you can use photo organizing software, and it's going to be great. It's an hour-long workshop. I hope you can spare the time, and if you would like to sign up to come to the free workshop, just click on the link either below or above, depending on where you're watching, and I hope to see you there. Bye.